let's begin. Alpha Prime. The model looks fine and is animated well enough, but the sound is a noise washout. The amount of smoke the projectiles create is hilarious too, like a bunch of mini smoke bombs going off. The impacts on enemies are terrible, they just don't skip a beat under any fire, blasting your health away unimpeded. And as such, only one shot kills give any feeling of satisfaction. The Darkness, a familiar model here that's positioned too big on screen. The projectile and impacts are where this gun shines, as you get nice fairy decals on walls, destructible objects, inertia, and best of all, the enemies have a clever animation system that allows enemies to get back up after you knock them down. The devs even gave enemies a whole lot of hit points to make sure you see this in action too. The Riot Shotgun is available towards the end of the game and once you get it, you're murdered almost instantly by new SWAT police enemies. Huge gameplay mistake. Don't give the player a big new gun, then immediately throw a much tougher enemies their way. It completely diminishes the power of the new weapon and punishes you for making progress. Look, I've run out of time now. Here's the scores. Halo 3. This version is similar to the series original. Ticks all the right boxes with a nice model revamp and has the now familiar excellent enemy impacts and reactions. It's consistent, reliable fun, but still no alternate fire modes or ammo types that would take this to a higher level. The Mauler presents us with a dual wheel shotgun to play with now. It looks menacing, but its quirky sci-fi shot sound effect could have been better. A bit too splashy. The increased rate of fire makes up for this a little, and it's animated beautifully. Clive Barker's Jericho. You start with the shotgun in this game, which actually serves as your primary weapon, with the machine gun on the alt fire. I'm very impressed with this one. Gets the size and feel on screen just perfect, excellent animation work and decent enough enemy impacts to boot. The only criticism is the underwhelming shot sound. If it had more of a satisfying crack, it would be all the more exciting. Well done Codemasters, like it. Painkiller Overdose. Following on from one of FPS gaming's finest examples, this bone gun variant looks amazing, as metal as they come, complete with slime launching, skull catapult and great animation all round. Top marks for creativity. Turning the praise down a notch, the shot sound is a little overbearing after a while. The projectiles don't have quite the same satisfaction as before and, probably the biggest problem, the new enemy designs don't react as much to your fire, with less expressive animation work too. A very good shotgun, but not quite painkillers equal. Time Shift, a game that's incompatible with modern PCs, but luckily still launches on my old dual-core backup rig. And what an absolute gem the Shattergun is too. It looks mean, sounds wonderful, astutely animated, has a wondrously refined and environmentally messy projectile, complete with a double-shot altfire. All this would have been great fun alone, but now throw in superb enemy interactions with satisfying audible and visual hit confirmations, brilliant staggering and knocked down states, surrendering, and even double-crossing.
Now, also add not one, but two excellent slow-mo gameplay mechanics. Either slow down time for Matrix-style thrills, or stop it completely for hilarious consequences when time kicks back in. It's highly tactical, and I find myself replaying scenes over and over just for the fun of it. Walls blast to pieces, clouds of dust get kicked up by stray pellets, bullet holes show nice parallax textures if the wall geometry didn't fall to pieces, and it all sounds sublime. <laughs> The Shattergun holds enough rounds with a fast enough rate of fire to be able to take on multiple enemies, chewing up the expertly crafted scenery, which looks amazing in 4K by the way, along with equally well crafted enemies. Absolute must play shotgun, 10 out of 10. Unless the game suddenly supports modern multi-code CPUs, this game is highly likely to be lost to time and will be losing one of this art form's very best creations. Crisis! Using your suit's maximum speed option makes for some nice run and gun one shot kill moments. The shotgun is highly polished with a subtle alt fire mode that narrows the shot spread for picking off more distant targets. Impacts on enemies are interesting, as you watch buoyant ragdolls fall around comically. Adding more stagger and flinching states would have helped, or any other visual audible cues confirming an impact on your target, as I was second guessing this a few too many times. Hmm, I love it.